Hi guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. The inspiration for today's video came while watching home videos of my kids. Obviously way before I started vlogging, but I just wanted to share with you guys a few pictures or videos of them when they were younger. I always had the camera on the kids. I always were was recording them, catching them in candid moments. So I always had a camera before I even knew anything about vlogging, before I even was watching YouTube before I even knew there was a YouTube. So I always had a camera on them. And I wish back then I knew because you guys could have seen them grow up. Since I didn't, I decided to share some of the moments with you guys. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome. I have three of the most amazing kids ever. Of course, I'm biased, but they're pretty awesome. Are they perfect? No, but they're mine. So let's get started. Let's talk about the oldest, the one who started this circus. So Cheyenne. She is, what can I say about Cheyenne? I hope I don't cry any of these because when I talk about my kids and whatever, I just get emotional because of course I love them so much and I'm so proud of their accomplishments. Anyway, so Cheyenne, she's my mini me. She is down to earth, realistic. She's the oldest, so she has that take charge, mothering instinct. <laughs> which is going to help her in life when she has her own kids. She's organized. I would say I'm very organized, but she is like me to the 10 power, which is great because I'll ask her, oh, how do you look at this? How do you see, like arrange it better? And I thought I had it good, but she'll get it better. She's very wise beyond her years. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Sometimes when she gives advice to her friends, I'm like, wow, you, you really know this? She has surprised me with a lot of the things she has told her friends or whatever about just being smart in life. She's very helpful to me. She loves her siblings. She loves them like they are her own. And she yells at them <laughs> like I yell at them. And if it's something that you know, they know I wouldn't want them to do or whatever. She'll jump in and, um, not when I'm there, but she'll just go in and take charge and put the smack down if she has to. She's very responsible. I know if I said that, but you probably can guess by everything I'm saying about her. She's strong-willed, um, but that's okay. I'm very strong-willed. She's amazing. Did I say she's amazing? Everything a person can ask for for a first kid she is okay let's go on to Tyreek what can I say about Tyreek he's my only boy he's like my favorite son you guys he is my all-time favorite son he's my middle child he was a shock to me when I was pregnant because I was told that he was a girl the doctor said for the ultrasound there's nothing there if you know what I mean and it's definitely a girl C-sections for all of my kids. When he was born, I had to have an emergency C-section. So they put me out and when I woke up, I asked to see my daughter and the nurse told me, no, you had a cute little curly head boy. And I'm like, no, no, you're, you're no, give me my girl because I'm having, I had a girl. The doctors told me I was having a girl, right? So she came back, she went to the nursery and checked and she came back and she said, no ma'am, you definitely had a boy. And this whole time I'm, I was confused, but I'm like, okay. So when they finally brought him to me after they cleaned him up and did whatever they needed to do and they knew that I was okay, um, I held him when I'm looking at him like, okay. So I looked in his diaper and I'm like, wow, I did have a boy. Tariq is a dreamer. He's funny, very creative. He knows how to draw. And we have a joke in our family that says he took all of our talents because we can't do anything. He plays the piano for our church. And what I didn't know until maybe like a couple months ago, he can play the drums. Sorry. He's also very strong-willed. I guess that's what I get for raising independent, strong children. I don't know. Yeah, baby. He's very 
analytical in his thinking. I don't know if that is because he's a male, but yes, he's very analytical. And I'm that Monday. He's loving and he's giving, he's caring. He is the typical boy when it comes to telling the girls, oh, don't hug me, you know. <laughs> or sometimes I'll catch him, you know, he'll give them hugs and whatever, and I'm like, yeah, you know you love him. But he's very protective over all of us, and I love that about him. I love everything about all the kids. He was a very happy child, always smiling and singing, and yeah. And did I say he's amazing? Today is April 7th, and it's Tyreek's birthday, and he is five years old. Let me get out of Mm. We're the ninja family. Is this time the birthday game? Chose the Oreo cookie cake. Yeah. And it has some advice. Happy birthday. Say happy birthday to us. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Happy birthday. to Savannah. She is my youngest. She was my surprise because after I had Tyreek and Cheyenne, I was done. I was like, you know what? No, no more for me. And then, poof, here comes Savannah. Hi! Hello. Hey! <laughs> She's full of life. <laughs> you guys have seen her. She is very friendly. She is. Very optimistic. She's a social butterfly. She can make friends very easily. Unlike me and Cheyenne, we're a little bit more reserved. I will sit back and watch, or if I'm around people, if you know me, I'm probably talking a lot, whatever, but. If I don't know people very well, I'm very quiet and I'll talk and socialize a little bit to the people who are around me, but I'm not very social. Savannah thinks outside the box, which is very good because it just shows a what a creative thinker she is and how she's creative also with her thoughts and the things she says. When um, you see the kids come and they come past you, um, happy matching. When he, when he said, all the, all, all, on the class he said, watch your children and do a school and no, we have no doors and no clothes. No doors and no windows. She walks to the beat of her own drum. And I'm not saying that in a negative sense. She is, I, I don't know how to explain it. She's just Savannah and I love her. She's very caring. She's sensitive. I like flowers. Got a Disney And you were sleep. Yeah, I like the I like the castle. I like the, I like when we went under the castle. Under the castle? She has an interesting thought process, the way she views the world. It's very silly. And did I mention she's amazing? Whew. Yeah, I'm surprised I got through this video without crying. So yes, that's a little bit more on my children. <laughs> I'm so thankful for them. There you go. No. Where'd you get those guitars? She's playing the air. She's playing the air. She's playing the air guitar. 
can make those strings on there. I'm glad they came into my life. Even though Savannah was a surprise to me, I could not imagine my life without her. And I'm sure Tariq and Cheyenne would say the same. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.